time to reorganize. So here we have the train with the cross cut and just a whole gang of tools. So I need to find a better place for all of this. I think with the with the router that I have in here, I want to use the uh, the other router, which is a little bit bigger. And then I have just a bunch of off-cut stuff that needs to be gone through, organized, do something with that cedar. I like the way the clamps are set up. That that works. Okay. We need to get rid of that. I want to keep those blocks, though. We need that. We'll keep the stuff that's in here, but I think I need to get rid of that. I definitely like having this up here, but I think I want to redo this whole shelf. Redo this whole shelf. Go ahead and pull this out, make a, a stronger shelf to hold all the big stuff. Get rid of that board. I think I need to get rid of this shelf, this shelf. This box needs to be modified. I think I want to take this French cleat wall and redo it completely. So I have, uh, I want holders for like this. And over here, I have the, the Fostner bits. I'd like to have those in a case. Something like that, but not the plastic. And then I've got all this hardware and stuff that I need places for. Just the miscellaneous stuff. Then up here, I've just got a, just a whole mess. So I think I'm going to get a slot, make a, some type of a holder to hold all of the combination squares. I think I want to do something like I did here. I can pull this back. No, it won't pull back. Um, let's see if we can get in there. Uh, here I made a chisel box. It's just uh, triangles so that they sit in there. I think I need to redo that and then redo that because this is just one big hot mess. And then I just got all kinds of miscellaneous stuff scattered throughout that needs to get a bunch of paperwork. All this hardware is out at the moment because I'm still working on that new table. I think instead of having these four big drawers, I think I should go with four smaller or more. I like that because that helps keep the board flat. These fat boards could definitely be cleaned up. This needs to be built a little bit better. I like the way the clamp is sitting on here, but I'd rather have it uh, level so that this and this are at the same plane. That way I can make like a little dog hole and put something here, and then I can go into a, a hole or something over here for clamping. Over here I've got uh, a couple of jigs that are just set up aside. You got the router. This is the, the back fence for the router where it's adjustable. This is for the skill saw, which still needs the board that goes across to keep it 90. And then you have this one for the router sled. This one is another router sled with just one side. Uh, plywood with the, the drawing for that carving, this bent lamination. Just all the little miniature shit that I've done over time. Wood burning. Wood burning a uh, septagon, which is seven sided. Reindeer on the uh, bandsaw. A couple handles that were done on the bandsaw. Homemade dowel, 
made out of mahogany. Miters off the miter sled, which I don't need anymore. Corbels, which is using the French cleat system, which is something I still need to show you. The biggest knights. Uh, here's a couple off cuts from uh, some saloon doors. Just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. All these uh, panels here, I want to use. Uh, these are uh, MDF with uh, white oak veneer. I want to make a pantry for inside, so I need to get busy with that. That'll get rid of these and that. Then there's another one back there. And then, of course, I have that, which I made on the bandsaw. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. And then, of course, here's the bandsaw. But you notice I just don't have enough room behind it. This base is not very good. It's kind of unstable, moves around a little bit. I think I need to modify that. I've got this little cubby right there. And it's, right now, it's just filled up with a bunch of wood. Uh, off cuts, just a little bit of everything. Another another real quick made table uh, with two by fours sitting on top. My jacket, uh, some metal bracketing uh, that I picked up out the trash that I think I can use. My biggest dilemma though right now is that Christmas tree. I need a place for it. And then I have some long boards of the, the red oak and then some pine all my squared stuff that was for when I was doing cutting boards one of my cabinet doors with the biggest nice thing on it uh, Corbu design over here I have some of my templates and some uh, old drawer sides that I want to make something with then I have three of these Solid maple um, I don't know what you'd call them. They're like pillars almost. These ones got uh, the um, finish all over them. Those would need to be cleaned up. There's just more wood. These ones have been burnt using the uh, the Lichtenberg. Some bar clamps. Some more bar stock. All this needs to be organized. So I'm going to back up and let's take a look at the whole area.